I wonder. Just just cause why not? He's going so slow. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. Will that get him? Will it get him? Let's find out. Probably not going to. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, yes! <laughs> Imagine seeing that in the kill feed, AGM 65B. All right, I'm gonna make this intro short and sweet because we're not talking about the uh, the Freccia. I think that's how you say it. I use Google Translator and I think it came out pretty well. But we're talking about the Spike ER missiles because this is not gonna be a game changer. I know I kind of said that with the QN506. I thought it was gonna be one, but the reality is it just, it didn't work. And I think it has a lot more to do with the platform as opposed to the missiles themselves because, well, let me go into details about this. But first, a quick word from today's sponsor. So with Father's Day just around the corner, why not get them the gift of a durable, everlasting, and sleek looking wallet from Ridge. Made from high quality materials such as stainless steel, 6061 T6 aerospace grade aluminum, and even carbon fiber so you know that you're going to be getting a quality and insanely durable product. Maybe even more durable than this mouse as it gets hit by my GBU. But hey, if you'd use my link at ridge.com slash justinplays to get a Ridge wallet, it would still be in good working condition. And it even comes with a lifetime warranty along with a 99 day money back guarantee should you not be satisfied. And to top it off, it has RFID protection, which means that no one is going to be skimming any of your valuable information on your cards anytime soon. And I was also given a key case that can hold up to six keys, though since I don't really use many physical keys, I'm going to keep it handy just in case the need arises, made of the same high quality materials as well, so you know exactly what you're getting. And if you use my link at ridge.com slash justinplays, you can save up to 40% through June 15th, right on time to celebrate Father's Day, or have handy for any future holiday, because let's be real, who doesn't like to save a few bucks when the opportunity arises? So thank you again to Ridge for sponsoring today's video. So going into some short details about the vehicle itself, it is a battle rating 10.0 light tank. It has all the features you would find from the other Centauros and the VBC, uh, VCC, etc. It has a laser warning system paired with a laser range finder, Gen 1 thermal sights, and the PMB 090. So it's exactly the same with the added ability of firing ATGMs being the Spike ER2. Now, to my knowledge, and don't quote me on this, this is what it said on Wiki right here, this is supposed to have up to a 16 kilometer range with a minimum engagement distance of 400 meters, which means that this thing should technically not be super viable at close range, which is completely fine anyways. War Thunder doesn't introduce any sort of uh, minimum engagement distance anyways. Uh, the problem with this is that the missile likes to go up and come down. Now, as you get closer to the target, the missile likes to act as if it's a direct fire one with the fire and forget capabilities. Uh, to my knowledge, you can fire this into smoke sort of if they hide behind it or if you if it's already flying and they're behind smoke at that point or they deployed it, it should engage them still. But uh, that's really something that remains to be seen as the server drops itself. Now, check this out in the game. 20 kilometer engagement distance, 180 meters a second missile guidance time is 35 seconds a 1.2 kilogram explosive mass but here's the problem right 700 millimeter base pen although i read it was supposed to be about a thousand it doesn't really matter too much i think at 10.0 anyways and seeing that this is a tandem warhead i'll be honest here in war thunder you don't want to trust that I, I think era is going to eat this thing anyways and active protection systems should they exist around that area if and when they do come in the very near future, because I think they'll be coming in droves, but that really remains to be seen. But I'm curious. I'm going to take this out just for a little bit. Uh, I might first death leave, you know, don't blame me on that. This is the dev server after all. And I'm going to see whether or not this has some efficiency. Now, again, this is the dev server. Take everything with a grain of salt. I may do well, I may do poorly. I don't really care. I just plan on using those to see how it might work in a semi-realistic environment. So with that being said, Let's begin. Ooh, it's the new map. And it has the giant Pac-Man. Yeah, I, I actually really like this. Guys, just got to throw in some little tiny thing right there. I know it's probably not real, but come on. That's the first thing that comes to mind. Uh, but check this out. You can't... Oh, no, you can't change it. Okay. Yeah, I, I was in a previous game. I got my butt kicked. That's okay, right? Uh, but anyways, let's uh, have some fun. We're not taking ourselves seriously. 
Oh, dude, I can already see this is going to be a very spawn campy map. Mm hmm. Just look at this. We're already going right to their spawn point, and there is plenty of cover all the way up there. Oh, there's our first one. Just an AI, but. Ooh, we can fire on the move. Boop. Oh, that's it. I'm just going to get him. That'll work. Yeah, I mean, I guess a Sherman like that, I, I guess I completely expect it. Sorry if we just kill AI. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wrong guy but i guess i'll just do that oh no justin you're bowling ai I, it just trying to get this missile to work oh look another one. Oh. okay boop nice that looks really cool doesn't it i think it's just an ai taking the point right now i'm gonna go ahead and see if i can launch a missile close up to him uh, break something important on him, his gun or something, and then do that. Okay. Okay. I guess that kind of works. Yeah, 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 I know, I know. There we go. Uh, all right, so using a point-blank range, you might have to adjust the um, your turret to engage him. Oh, there's an M1 in here. Uh, cool. I'm just going to gun him on the side right now. Here he comes. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, come on. It's just an auto cannon, right? You think anyone will notice me? I mean, there's only like three players in the game right now. So like, check, check that out. Excuse me. There's only two actual players in the game. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to bully some more AI because that's, that's all we got. I think I see one. Ooh. Go get him. Go get him. Go get him. Yeah. Boop. <laughs> I love that you can fire on the move. Come on. And a boop. Yeah, come on. I'm gonna break his engine. Come on, load, load. They're pretty quick loading, aren't they? No. Oh, really? Really? <laughs> when I hit a bush. I know, I'm just killing AI. Damn. Oh, too high up. Maybe. Hold up. Hold up. Maybe if I do this. Come on. Come on. There we go. Nope. It's still going to mess up anyway. Kind of tricky to use, to be honest. Not the one all be all. So we'll just get rid of him. And engage this guy right over here. No. You see what I mean about the whole situational stuff? Where you have to have the vehicle fully exposed to use it. So, I'll get more of the details about this once we get to the end. Oh! Is that a player? <laughs> no, that was, a, that was a bot. <laughs> I got my ass kicked by a bot. Very nice. Oh, That's alright. Oi! Oh, what? Come on, really? Come on. Perfect. Woo! That was pretty close range, too. That's nice, isn't it? I got two guys right up here. Oh, I killed a TA to you. I didn't even know that was a TA to you. All right. Oh. Uh, come on. Come on. Uh, I know I got two guys right here, but only one of them, I think, is only is marked. Let's see, where are you? Oh. Yeah! That actually works! All right, I, I can definitely see this being used uh, in close range engagements. Cool. Oh, helicopter. I want to see if this works. Keep going, keep doing what you're doing. Let him fly, let him fly. Keep going, keep going. Come on, can you fly a little higher for me, please? Just, just a little higher. There we go. Nope, too close. Come on. There we go. Right there. Ah! <laughs> he needs to be further away. Ah, that's all right. So Gaijin just came out with the statement uh, a couple of minutes ago from the time I'm filming this part. And thanks for following me on Twitch. I always forget to turn off those notifications, but I just gave up on it. Anyways, uh, they came out with a statement saying why we shouldn't review bomb and how the state of the game is in terms of free to play and how 80% of players don't pay for the game, and if they didn't, 
or uh, excuse me that 20 percent didn't pay for it uh this game would shut down and so on and so forth which i can agree with that uh but to some extent it's like no you we, they don't really listen to us as, as much as i i'd like to think right but you know i'll say that for another video but just know this i don't agree uh with the economy changes and i don't agree with how gaijin handled it i agree with how they went back on it but to double down and say hey this is why we do it you should listen to us i get where they're coming from but you're kind of under the gun right now try not to do that i think <laughs> anyways let's try to get some kills here and make this look pretty cool i guess Ooh, i got td some sort uh no he didn't he hasn't noticed us yet um that was bad what oh no there's another one oops oh it's just a little low tier but let me see if i can knock this guy out get his engine don't turn around please go get him oh not yeah not yeah hold up i'm just gonna burn his ass out We'll just, we'll just do that. Yep. Sorry, buddy. I swore that second missile should have gotten you. There we go. Come on, give me a lock. Give me a lock. Come on. Give me a lock. Okay, he shot. I should have about 6.5 seconds. Less than that. Come on. Ah! You know what's funny? If I had a direct fire ammunition, I probably would have been able to get him, but... Come on. Come on. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Ah. Oh. Okay, I prefer more manual launch stuff. Oh. Eh, another little AI. Oops. More AI. Sorry, AI can kind of hurt, so I want to get rid of them. Oh. Perfect. Yeah, these aren't bad. I I'm really digging them. Oh. Oh, that's not good. I'm moving. Yeah, already hurts. No thanks. All right, let's try this. Should be right first. Perfect. Yeah, that's gonna take a lot of getting used to. Oops. Come on, come on, lock. Come on, fire, fire. There we go. Thank you. There's a second one. Yeah, this is gonna be fun. Oh no, I'm out of missiles. Oh, it's just... Uh, I like how my guy's freaking out too. Come on. Oh yeah. Come on, I'm, I'm facing AI right now. Come on guys, really? It, really? Oh, Justin, you're so good. Look how many kills you're getting. Oh, oops. Cool, I'm so good. Look at me, guys. Just re... <laughs> this is this is fun and dumb. Oh. Wow, really? Okay. Okay, let's jump cut time. Oh. Helicopter. I I don't know what that's I'll let you guys know really quick if that does anything, alright? Three hours later. Oh, that didn't do shit. Try one more time. There goes the missile. It's just... It's just flying. It's still going. The first one, I don't think ever did anything. But now I can see the second one fly. And it's just... <laughs> no, it disappeared. Okay. So, uh, safe to say this is not going to be good against helicopters. Which is, yeah, completely fine by me. Oh. Hey, buddy. Hmm. Eh, I guess I tried. Eh, I know, I know. Oy! That's okay. Now we know it can't engage helicopters, so... So I went ahead and cut the gameplay right there because it's really going to be a rinse and repeat of the exact same thing. And facing AI jumbos and centurions, etc., it's not going to prove anything, unfortunately. But... The moments I did engage those players, though, it did kind of do fairly well for the most part. But again, this is the dev server. So all the gameplay you saw right there, you have to take with a grain of salt, a big grain of salt, because this missile may get better. 
it may get worse it may stay the same i, I kind of hope it stays the same because it's not overbearing it's not op against helicopters as you could obviously see right there at least for the time being uh it's not overbearing against really tanks because i had to throw a few of them at them but then again i did fire against you know <laughs> uh what was it centurions uh shermans etc so i get it it's not gonna be the absolute best but of course as this drops into the main game i will take the time to make a custom video or dedicated video for it but there's one thing i haven't really mentioned yet and that's what this does to the game as a whole now there are vehicles out there that do utilize this from helicopters uh such as i think the umtas uh for the the helicopter we have right here is fire and forget almost uh similar the t129 uh, similar to that of the spike missiles there are a lot of helicopters that utilize them uh israeli helicopters german for sure i think uh even the italians use some too i'm not well versed in that stuff so you'll kind of have to forgive me on it um but this brings in a lot of new abilities for existing vehicles and most notably for the puma itself now gaijin did bring this up to battle rating 9.7 recently when it first came to the game it was 8.3 it was overbearing as hell i got about four or five nukes almost back to back with this thing it was stupid right they moved it up to 9.3 I thought it was okay where it was sitting at. Now it's 9.7, but I think, and I said this in one of my previous videos when I was playing with Yeti, they might bring in the spike missile for this thing. I really hope on the existing platform as opposed to a new one, because a new one means more grind and just why? You get the same thing for nothing almost, I guess. So guys, and please just give this the missile and call it a day, okay? It will make this vehicle a lot more efficient and leave it at this battle rating, I would say maybe 10.0 but you already moved this up high enough as is so just give it the missile and leave it there we would greatly appreciate it but what do you guys think overall is this going to change up the game will it make vehicles that much better is the uht going to be no longer the the loner child if that makes sense with the pars missiles with the fire and forgets I mean, you already see they're not really that overbearing, except for my recent video, but don't count that. That's a very rare moment, okay? Uh, what do you guys think? Let me know down in the comment section below. Is this going to change up the game? Is it going to make it better? Is it not? I have no idea. Let me know. Comment section. I will chime in my two cents as per usual. And let me know what you guys think about Gaijin and their recent post. I might. I want to do a talking head for it. But at the same time, I feel like it's opening up a can of worms that's going to get me in, uh, you know, a... <laughs> A really bad situation but already you guys are getting on my butt for not talking about it it's just i i don't know what to do <laughs> i don't know but anyways guys thank you for taking the time to watch this this will be the last video for this coming weekend and possibly this dev server and uh, thank you for taking the time to not only watch this but support me as a creator as well you guys are brilliant and uh, i will see you not only in the next video or even the streams but most certainly in war thunder itself and in the next major update See you next time.